Hi. Good evening, everyone. We'll start the session now. The last session, we started about the introduction to software testing. So what is software testing? In this topic, these are the topics we are going to cover. Software testing. What are the advantages of software testing? Advantages of software testing. The difference among the error, defect, bug and failure. Some of the major activities in software company, such as coding, testing, defect reporting, debugging, bug fixing, then types of software testing, such as what is manual testing, what is an automation testing. If you understand this concept, then you can able to know that if you want to get a job as a test engineer, what type of skills is it required for us? So, yesterday I explained about the here what is software testing, then what are the advantages of software testing? These two points I covered. Okay. Let us see my here. What is software testing? In general, software testing is a process. Software testing is a process. Use it to identify. Software testing is a process. Use it to identify correctness, completeness, and to measure quality of developed software. Okay. In the process, use it to identify correctness, completeness, and to measure quality of developed software. Or software testing performed to ensure client requirements in developed software. In other words, we can say software testing. In simple, software testing is a combination of verification and validation. Okay, but from Fresher's point of view, they will expect that this kind of vocabulary. It is a combination of verification and validation. But in simple, what is the meaning of verification? Verification is nothing but whatever requirements are given by the client, everything is covered or not. The completeness activity, nothing but verification activity. Check that all the client requirements are covered in application or not. Correctness means check that the implemented components or features are working as per our expectations or not. So how to define the quality software? There are two persons prospect we can define. One is producer. Producer means the team which is involved to develop the software. End user means the person finally who is going to use the software. Now from producer point of view, when application fulfilled with all the client requirements, and end user point of view, when application fit for use, then it is considered as quality software then it is considered as quality software. Like. So, however, some major factors will be considered in the quality software. So, one is in terms of budget. That means within the specified cost, we should develop the software. Second one, in terms of time, if client expecting project within eight months of time, make sure we have to deliver the software within eight months. Then reliability means 
it should meet client requirements in terms of functionalities. It should meet client requirements in terms of functionalities. It should meet client expectations in terms of speed, compatibility, security, user interface, usability, like this. So here, first two are the non-technical factors. Right. But as a testing in it, these two are the technical factors which we are going to verify. We are the responsible to verify those factors. Then what are the advantages of software testing? It will help to deliver right software to the customer. It will reduce maintenance cost for a project. Maintenance cost means while using software, if client got any issues, to rectify those problems, the amount he has to spend. That expenditure, nothing but are going to call maintenance cost. If you tested, we given the right software to the customer, then he's going to face the less problems while using the software. When less problems, low maintenance for the project. Understand that it will help to stay in a business. <coughs> Whom to stay in a business? Software company point of as a software company, when we given the right software to the customer, whenever he satisfies, our company will get good reputation in the market. Whenever we got the good reputation in the market, so that we can do the more orders we are going to get, more business we can do it is. That is the it will help to stay in business. Next, it will help to identify hidden defects in software. So when those are resolved, the software quality improves. It will help to deliver a bug-free software to the customer. These are the advantages we have when you go for software testing. Right. So these are the topics which I covered in last session. Right. Is it clear? Any doubts here? Kaur, Ravi, Rohit, Vaibo, Katke and Clear. Okay. A difference among the error, defect, bug and failure rules. If I go for the error, how do you say what is an error means? Generally, it is a human mistake. It is a human mistake. Which are identified in programs or source code of the application. It is a human mistake which are identified in the programs or source code of the application. Code level mistakes are identified. Those we are going to call errors we are going to call. Example like this. We have syntax errors. 
logical errors. So we are new to the programming language. So what is the difference between syntax error and logical error? Yes. Let us see my here. This is my actual requirement. Is like this. What is the actual requirement here? Means first two values I want to add with the sum. I want to multiply the third value. Actual requirement is A plus B. Then I want to multiply the third value. When I ask the developer one, he written like this. A star B plus C is given. Developer two is given like this. A plus B multiplied with the C. Now here, both developers did mistakes only here. So which one do you consider is a logical error? Which one do you consider syntax error? Right in the chat box, Mahir. In Zoom chat box is there. What do you think? Ravi, Rohit, Vaibhav. Manfred Kaur, Patkain. Second one is looks like an error. It's an error uh, because of yeah. the non-closing bracket. First one is we can say as a logical level. That means given instruction is understandable. Given instruction is understandable, but it generates a wrong output for us. That is the logical error we are going to call. Where a second one, the instruction itself is incomplete because I given the open bracket, okay, way to take the end bracket here, system is not going to assume anything. We have to provide the complete instructions, right? So it is considered as a syntax error. So logical error, once again, I'll repeat one. Logical error means given instruction is understandable. Given instruction is understandable, but it generates the wrong output. Syntax error means the given instruction is not understandable. Given instruction is not understandable. As a syntax error. There's a code level, but as I said that for testing units, they want to give the code to go for testing it is. Source code, we are not going to test it is. So developers can identify this kind of errors. Second one, we have the defect. Defect. Whereas defect can also called as an issue or incident or fault. Defect can also be called as an issue or incident or fault. Now, what is this defect means? Let us understand the one scenario here. If I go for the application, which I want to test. Application, which I want to test, where we call as AUT. AUT means application under test. Application under test it is. Application under test.
Hi. Sorry. So I got some internet issue here. So where we are discussing, I am explaining about the error defect. Defect can also called as an issue or indent or fault. Defect can also called as an issue or indent or fault. If I go for the application I want to test here, the calculator I want to test. This is the calculator, this is the AUT. What the slide I want to test here means. Multiplication functionality I want to test. I want to test the multiplication functionality. If I want to test, there should be some procedure for that, right? Procedure. What is the procedure? First, I want to click on the C button. Then I want to click on the 9. Then I want to click on multiply operator. Then I want to click on the 5. Then I want to click on equal to. I want to click on equal to. If I do like this, the expected result is 45. Expected result is 45. Right. Now I am going to the testing. So first I am going to click on the C. Then I am going to click on 9. Click on, click on 5. Click on equal to. What is the output I got here? 45. So what is the expected result? 45. Whatever value generated in the application, that is called actual result. The actual result also 45. Yes. Actual result is 45. Then what is the test status? It is passed. My test is passed. Why it is passed? Because expected and actual. Both the results are matching it is. That's why my test is passed. Let us assume that. So when you operated, the calculator is given 14, not 45. Then what is the status here? Failed. So why it is failed? Because you got the deviation between expected to actual results. Expected to actual results. We got the deviation. So whenever you got deviation between expected to actual results in AUT, that is nothing but we are going to call defect. Now see my here. It is a deviation between expected to actual results in AUT. AUT means application under test, not in the code level, in page level. That is the defect we are going to call. It is a deviation between. So what is the defect means here? Understand again. It is a deviation between expected to actual results in AUT application under test. Application under test. Right. Now, I will show some practical defects here. If I go for the Salesforce application, if I if I am not going to enter the username, I will go to enter the only password. I enter. If I click on the login, if I Click on the login.
so due to climate issue i am getting some issue, internet issue here in my area the cable is disconnected there's a problem outside okay so it is a deviation between expected to actual results in aut that is application under test we are going to call let us see an example here if i go for this application salesforce application when i so i entered the only password no username if i click on the login expecting error messages if i click on the login there is no error message displayed to you even though it is an un unsuccessful login operation but a user to understand it has to provide the error message right it is not providing the error messages it is a different same way if i go for the application here one more application if i go now this is the application is there now without enter the username password values if i click on the submit what is our expectation again unsuccessful login operation right now i'm going to click on the submit see what happens how it responds here what is saying that login successfully see there's a defect here right so what is the defect here means it is a deviation between what we are expecting and how application is responding that is called defect okay example here a defect one application allowing user to log in without asking login credentials without asking login credentials application allowing to log into the application right this is a defect now remember that the goal of testing in it is to identify defects the goal of testing is to identify defects when those are resolved the goal of testing is to identify defects when those are resolved then software quality improves the goal of testing is to identify defects when those are resolved then software quality improves i joined the class through mobile data that is the distributor maybe internet lagging is there okay goal of test is to identify defects when those are resolved then software quality improves next is here now you identify defects but who has to solve it is who is the responsible for that developers are the responsible right now you have to report to the developers what are the defects identified you are going to report to the developers once you report to developers developer will do the review on the defect those defects are valid or not okay if developer accepted as those are valid defects then it is called bugs then this bug means whenever developers are accepted our defects they are reported 
second those are called those are called bugs that means my here confirmed defects confirmed defects whenever developers are accept our defects which are reported then those are called bug cities now understand this is the application step so try yourself to identify some defects in the page i will tell you one is a login functionality is not working that is a one defect okay there are some more defect one you can try it is some more defects here like this. now here i will tell you what are the defects are there date is incorrect date is incorrect right next thing sign on is there sign in is required so sign on is there they are also defect then generally login section we are going to find the forgot password component forgot password component that cost missing there is also a defect so what are the defects i said one is login functionality defect date spelling third one fourth one is forgot password fifth one is the page is not loaded complete browser window of the screen only page is available this a enter page of page is empty is there right this half page is empty is there okay <coughs> now what the defects are there now what are defects on the Developers will do the review. In that review, login function defect accepted, date defect accepted, sign on defect accepted, page not loaded complete window accepted. But here, whatever I said here, forgot password company that is not accepted by the developer. So they said it is as per the requirements. It is a training application. Forgot password not required. That is the reason developers are not implemented. Forgot password not required. That is the reason they are not implemented. So, out of five, four are accepted. One is rejected. So, whichever defects four accept, those only we are going to call bug cities. The defects. Which are accepted by the developers. Those only are going to call the valid defects. You can say it is okay. Now, so what is means? Whatever which is the Defect bug like 